Small form factor setups are quickly becoming more and more popular as gamers look to reduce the footprints of their systems. As a result, we have quickly seen a revolution with everything from high performance motherboards to class leading GPUs being offered in sizes that are compatible with mini ITX cases. In addition, those ITX enclosures have become more and more feature rich and capable of housing high end components. Unfortunately, in many situations, actual cooling setups haven't really kept pace with the small form factor craze. Cooling overclocked processors takes thermal mass and smaller, more compact systems don't typically allow for large coolers to be installed. With that in mind, Coolmaster thinks they have a solution. This is their new compact AIO, the Master Liquid Maker 92. It may have a long and confusing name, but it promises to offer excellent cooling for high-end overclocked processors while remaining small enough to fit into some ITX cases. It isn't exactly inexpensive either at $100, which is a lot more than air cooling options from Noctua and some other companies. So where are they able to cram all that AIO power into this tiny and versatile cooler? You're about to find out, but first, we need to talk about a contest. Now, to celebrate its availability in Canadian Best Buys, check out the link below. Cooler Master is giving away a brand new Master Keys Lite mouse and keyboard combo to one of our viewers. You may remember this combo since we reviewed it a few weeks ago. Do note that this giveaway is limited to North America. All you have to do is apply through the Gleam link, which is posted in the description below. All right, let's get back to the cooler. But first, a message from our sponsor. The Dark Base 900 may be the most innovative case of the year with a built-in Qi charger, interior lighting, tempered glass that can be installed on either side, and a fully modular interior that can be inverted if you so desire. Be quiet. Stepping up their game, check it out in the description below. At first glance, this is an incredible work of engineering by the folks over at Cooler Master. It's a unique approach towards compact AIO solutions, and they're targeting this cooler specifically for mini and micro ATX builds. Not to mention, this can be mounted inside a full-size ATX tower, but remember, this is a $100 compact liquid cooler, so you're entering the premium price category for CPU coolers, and there are plenty of cheaper and more efficient alternatives in the market which fit that demographic. Honestly, if you have a larger case, you'll likely want to look elsewhere. Taking a closer look at the Maker 92, it's relatively easy to spot the components that make up the whole structure. There are dual 92mm high static pressure fans in a push-pull configuration with an aluminum radiator in between them. If you're wondering where the pump location is, it's actually sitting on top of the radiator and they've combined them to achieve this compact form factor. Do note that the pump requires a dedicated power source through SATA. The tubes routed towards the CPU block are braided and sleeved, and speaking of the CPU block, Cooler Master has implemented a clean copper base to maximize the contact surface. This should lead to quicker heat dissipation provided the smaller radiator can keep up. An interesting feature about the Maker 92 is the switch and swivel mechanism that basically lets you choose between vertical and horizontal cooler configurations depending on your airflow needs. There's a custom hinge bracket that swivels the radiator and pump in one direction with the intake fan facing the top and the exhaust at the bottom. The horizontal support is 118.8 millimeters in height whereas the vertical support sits at 167.5 millimeters. It's a lot taller than the Intel stock cooler, so I would highly recommend to check case compatibility for this particular AIO. Installation was pretty straightforward. Cooler Master includes all the necessary mounting hardware inside the box. I tested this unit on an ASRock Z170M mini ITX motherboard featuring an i7-6700K and 16 gigabytes of RAM. All you have to do is install the long screws on the rear supporting bracket with these holders and tighten the cooler on the other side. This is one of the benefits of the Maker 92. It doesn't require you to find an open fan mount on your case, but rather integrates all the liquid cooling components into one compact unit. I did not experience memory constraints with this cooler placed in both horizontal and vertical configurations, but I'd be careful with RAM modules that feature a taller heatsink like the Dominator series from Corsair, for example. Now, this is where the actual compatibility issues start. You see, even though the Maker 92 is small and it's advertised to fit into ITX systems, if a case was compatible with the liquid cooler, it would also be compatible with heatsinks from Noctua, Thermaltake, Fantex, and many others. Plus, actually finding a small form factor enclosure which fits the Maker 92 will be a challenge. Cooler Master doesn't have a compatibility list for competing products, and to make matters worse, none of their own ITX cases actually fit this small cooler. Here's a great example with the Silverstone Sugo SG13, a case that highlights the strengths of ITX design, but it simply can't fit the Maker 92 regardless of which position it is in. 
With all that in mind, I've decided to throw in Noctua's low-profile CPU cooler, the NHL9i, and compare the results with the Liquid Maker 92. What's astonishing about this cooler is its high clearance of just 37mm. Not only does that make it compatible with nearly every ITX case on the market, but the L9i is more compact than Intel's own stock cooler, and by volume, it's three times smaller than the Maker 92. The top-mounted 95mm fan supports the PWM standard for full automatic speed control. You know what's even more interesting? The price. It's a massive $50 cheaper than Cooler Master's offering, and I was really looking forward to the results. So are you guys ready for it? Under idle situations, both coolers ran at about 27 degrees Celsius, but under load, the NHL9i outperforms the Maker 92 by about 4 degrees, which absolutely blew away my expectations considering the tiny form factor. Remember, the Maker 92 was set at a horizontal configuration, and I was curious to test out how it performed when set to vertical setting. And here we are with the 92 running with just a few degrees warmer during both idle and under low situations. Let's listen to how they sound. A few months back, we did a video comparing the Pro240 liquid cooler to Noctua's D15, D15S, and U14S, and the air coolers performed really well in our temperature and acoustic tests. The only disadvantage with those coolers were the enormous heating mass hanging off the motherboard. This video puts things into another perspective because Noctua has done a fantastic job with the NHL9i with its performance given the compact form factor. On the other hand, Cooler Master has engineered something marvelous with the Liquid Maker 92. I still can't wrap my head around the fact that they were able to cram a radiator, pump, and two fans into this tiny package. And while it does have restrictions with certain mini ITX and micro ATX cases, I think they're heading off in the right direction with this type of design. Maybe we can expect a much smaller size and better performance in the next revision, but until then, the NHL9i is the superior choice, especially considering it's $50 cheaper than the Maker 92 and fits into more compact environments. Until Cooler Master publishes a full compatibility list or offers their own mini ITX case to fit the Maker 92, I'd recommend looking elsewhere. As we saw with that little Nocto cooler, there are certainly great alternatives out there. However, I can't take anything away from Cooler Master either, since without innovations like this, the market really wouldn't go anywhere. So what are your thoughts about the Cooler Master Liquid Maker 92? How are you impressed by its performance? Plus, how surprised are you after I reveal the results of it compared against the NHL9i? Leave a comment down below and I'll make sure to check them out. I'm Ebo with Harry Canucks. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.